Jaki plosok ty dla mnie śnieg? Yeah. Uh, Unicast uh, routing protocol. Uh, in this particular section, uh, we'll be discussing about the three common protocols uh, used in the internet. That is uh, routing information protocol uh, based on the distance vector algorithm. The next one is open uh, shortest at path first uh, based on link state algorithm and border gateway protocol uh, that is based on path vector algorithm. So in, the, uh, in this class, we will be uh, discussing about the first one that is routing information protocol. So before discussing uh, the unicast routing protocol, uh, we need to understand the structure of uh, today's internet. The internet has changed uh, uh, from a tree-like structure. Basically, it was like a tree-like structure. That is, one backbone was there, right? Where the single backbone was there. Using the single backbone, multi-backbone multi structure was uh, still run. Okay, it was uh, run by a different private corporation. Now, what has happened now? Uh, it is nothing. We don't have uh, something on a single backbone. Okay, there will be multi-backbone structure. Uh, multiple, uh, like, corporate, uh, corporations they provide the services so uh, internet uh, structure is a bit complicated now. so although it is difficult to give a general view of the internet today we say that internet has a structure similar to what is shown here okay this one you can observe here the backbone in this is nothing but <coughs> it is an internet service provider okay internet service provider wherein uh, which in turn is connected to various uh, network providers this is a uh, backbone network provider uh, are nothing but the they are the service provider now this peering point is nothing but if you want to connect it to, uh, from various points or to the other points that is nothing but several backbones run by the private communication companies that provide global connectivity. the backbones are connected okay in order to connect more, uh, more backbones these peering points are allowed Okay, so you can you can just come to uh, the conclusion here. These are the network providers. What we say, or say Airtel or the BSNL, different providers are there which will be using the global backbones. Okay, and uh, through these network providers, the service will be provided to the customer network. Okay, and this is how the connections, or this is how uh, the connection, uh, overall internal structure look like. So provider network uses uh, backbones for global connectivity and provide services to the customers. Customer network use service provided by the provider network. Right. So that is the overall structure of an internet today. Now in this, uh, there are different systems. Like say, first one is autonomous system. An autonomous system, if you consider, the routing in the internet cannot be done using a single protocol for two reasons. Okay. Uh, that is nothing but transfer the packets or physically routing cannot be done using a single protocol We cannot have a single protocol for all the providers. We need to have multiple different types of protocol Why first one the scalability problem and the administration issue? Okay, a scalability problem in the sense of uh, the number of users in a particular location or a particular providers It may vary from one point to the other point as well as administrative issues administrative issues in the sense some customers may not have an access to the entire uh, what you call the features provided by the network. Say, for example, some may have to use only the data or data network. Some may have to use calling. There are different features. Like that is nothing but administrative issues. So for all these uh, uh, reasons, uh, we cannot have a single protocol. So this hierarchical routing is used. So each internet uh, internet service provider ISP is considered as an autonomous system. Okay. And each AS, that is autonomous system, can run a routing protocol that meets its needs and is referred as intra-AS routing protocol. Okay, uh, it will, uh, based on the requirements, this protocol will run. So here, the global internet runs a global protocol to glue all uh, autonomous system services together and is referred as inter-AS routing protocol, okay, which has been in turn connected to the global internet. Next step, uh, coming next to the global internet, we call we have something known as stub data, that is stub autonomous system. Here, in this case, only one connection 
uh, to uh, one, one connection to another AS. That is, uh, uh, from one connect uh, that is, uh, from autonomous system to the other autonomous, on, uh, autonomous system, we can connect it with the single connection. So here, the data traffic can be either initiated or terminated in stop AS. Data cannot pass through it, that is customer network. Okay, say for example, from one network to the customer, that, that connection we can call it as a stop base where you can initiate or uh, terminate the data transfers, but data cannot pass through the, of the end network, that is the stop base. Next is multi home top AS. Uh, this can have more than one connections to other AS, okay, or to other autonomous system. It can have more than one connections from uh, the autonomous system. It does not allow the traffic to pass through it. Example is customer uh, autonomous system. Okay, from the customer uh, connection, you can have different connections. That is from there, you cannot, you can have different connection, what we call as autonomous system. Okay, more than one connection is possible. But uh, data traffic cannot pass through it. Next one is transient AS. It is connected to more than or one other AS and allows the traffic to pass through. This is the difference between multiple AS and transient AS. Here also more than one uh, uh, more than one other AS that is autonomous systems can be connected. And also it allows to pass through the uh, pass the uh, data through. that is provider networks and the backbone. Right? The connection between the backbone in the previous block diagram we have seen as well as different provider networks. You may have different net provider networks. So uh, we call that auto as autonomous system. So we, they, we can have more connections from the provider network to the uh, auto, uh, uh, backbone and uh, the traffic also can pass through. So coming to routing information protocol. Okay? So routing information protocol is one of the most widely used intra-domain routing protocols based on the distance vector routing algorithm. Okay, um, in the last classes you have come across that is the vector routing box. So based on that, basically based on the popcorn channel, this routing table will be updated and upon that uh, the routing will be done. Okay, so it was initially uh, started as a part of uh, Xerox network system, ZNX, but it was uh, the Barclay software distribution version of Unix that helped to make use of RIP version. Okay, it is normally used in a small autonomous system. This routing information uh, protocol is basically used in uh, small autonomous uh, systems. Say, for example, uh, we'll go through the algorithm of this particular uh, system. So here, uh, say if I consider cost is defined as a number of hops. Okay, so we need to, basically we need to find the cost of each system. That is nothing but each network. So cost is defined as a number of hops, which means number of network subnets okay a packet needs to travel through the through the source router to the final destination okay that is nothing but suppose say that you want to or transfer a packet uh, from uh, so these are nothing but uh, different networks right n1 n2 n3 n4 these are the different networks suppose if you want to transfer uh, uh, the data from network n1 to n4 in that case it, it will be connected R1, R2, and R3. So uh, it has to pass through three different networks. Is it right? It has to be routed to uh, three different networks. So we can consider uh, the number of hops or the cost of this particular network as three. That is N2, it passes through N2, N3, and then N4. So it requires three hops. hops. So therefore, cost is defined as three in order to transfer a data from N1 to N4. Similarly, say N2 to N4, number of hops required is 2, therefore the cost will be 2. Similarly, from N3 to N4, only one uh, hop, so therefore the cost is 1. This is how uh, you are going to find the cost or the hop comes in this value. Okay. <coughs> so based on this, you are, suppo uh, you are supposed to write the routing table. Okay, now all these routers, this is one example uh, we have taken, that is uh, the data move from one uh, network to the other network. So the data can move from any point to any point, either from N2 to N3 or N2 to N1, N2 to N4, anything. So basically in order to route that uh, packet, uh, in each routers you require, as we know that, there should be something known as routing table. So how this routing table is generated. So IRP is the one which gives the information of this routing table is 
generator okay so in this case we'll consider the same example so initially uh, if i consider r1 in order to write the routing table you are supposed to write the routing table of r1 initially the content of that table will be totally empty okay next it will learn from the package the data moment uh, and then it will update the table so these are the table you are supposed to write uh, 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 it consists of a uh, three column table right the first one is nothing but the address of the destination network okay destination network address second one is nothing but the next router address okay which is the next router in order to route the packet and third one is nothing but the cost in forms okay so here if i consider this is a forwarding table for r1 if i consider the network uh, destination network as we have seen in the previous configuration there are four networks n1 n2 n3 and n4 so you just write down that n1 n2 n3 and n4 so n1 uh, the if the destination network is n1 itself okay suppose from here to here you are going to transfer the packet so what is the number of hop? so whatever say here in this particular network there may be n devices so whatever or may whatever the devices are there it has to be routed to this r1 itself therefore the packet will be sent to r1 and then to the source so therefore we can say that the number or uh, the number of cost the cost is nothing but it is one it is within the network say from to n2 okay n2 it is nothing directly since it is connected directly from uh, n1 to n2 so the number of hops required is one therefore n2 it is one for n3 suppose you are transferring a data from n1 to n3 in that case n1 to n3 in that case two routers or uh, that is nothing but it has to uh, go through two networks so the hop count is two and the next network and the next router okay this is your source router next router the destination router will be R2. Therefore, you are supposed to write R2 over N3, R2, 2 is nothing but the hope. For N4, N4, or it has to be routed through uh, N, N2, N3, and N4. Okay, so the number of hop counts is 3, and uh, the next router for routing it is R2. Right, therefore, the next router it is R2. This is how the table is created. Similarly, uh, the forwarding table will be created for r2 also okay in the same manner say if you want to transfer the data now r2 is nothing but uh, basically the router of uh, uh, which is connected in between n1 and n2 right so if you want to transfer the data uh, if the destination network is uh, n1 okay and forwarding table for r2 so therefore the next router will be r1 right and the number cost uh, will be there is nothing but i'm speaking about this one this router okay now if you want to transfer for the package from r2 to uh, n1 okay if the destination is n1 so therefore number of networks is one two and the next router is r1 right next router is r1 similarly uh, n2 n3 as well as n4 okay similarly how to write the table forwarding table for r3 so this will be uh, the forwarding the updated table once this is done accordingly the package will be routed according to this table okay so basically it means that based on the number of hop counts right number of hops or what we call as a cost we are going to route the table so this will be updated every now and then okay so this is a, a basic message format uh, of uh, rip message format so here you can observe it has two types of messages one is a request message and a response message whenever it want to or whenever the packets will be sent and uh, in order to update the table initially the table will be up empty right it has to be updated to be loaded with the required addresses so in order to do that uh, first initially a request message will be sent so request message can ask about the specific entries or all, all entries it is sent by a router that has just come up or by a router that has come um, <coughs> sorry that has some timeout entries so this is nothing but the uh, message the field of the uh, the message format first one is a com that is nothing but a command 
Okay, if it is a request based on this, we can decide whether it is a request message or whether it is a response. If it is one, it means that it is a request message. If it is two, that means it is a response. Next, it is VER version <coughs> version of that particular format. Current version it may vary from protocol to protocol. For this, it is two. In this section, it is reserved. Next one is family. <coughs> family of protocol for TCP or IP value is two. okay so it's based on the protocol type which we follow okay this value will be fixed next the tag information about the autonomous system each uh, autonomous system will have its own tag ID and that information will be stored in this particular field next it is a network address which is nothing but the destination address okay what is the destination address of that particular packet that will be routed that will be placed here Next is a subnet mask. It is a prefix length of that particular router that uh, from where so the packet has to be routed. And the uh, next step is nothing but next hop address. Okay, it is the address length. Okay, next hop address. Uh, it is uh, as and when it passes through the router, this hop count will be changed. Right, that address, whatever is loaded, uh, that is the nearest router address, will be loaded to this particular field. And the number of hops required in order to uh, place that message to the destination or route that message to the destination will be placed in this distance. It is number of the number of hops to the destination as and when it passes through the different networks. This hop count will be initially decremented and which reaches the destination, it will be set to zero. It indicates that it has reached the destination. Okay, so a response or an update. So initially a request will be sent based on that request we will get a response or an update message can be either solicited or unsolicited. A solicited response message means it is sent only in answer to the request message. So whenever we have we send a request for in order to know the table status or update the table, a request reply will be given. That is only solicited. It contains information about the destination specified in the corresponding request message. Okay. Unsolicited response message means uh, periodically every 30 seconds or when there is a change in the forwarding table. Okay, it will be uh, like our uh, reply uh, message will be updated whenever there is a change in the table or whenever there is an addition or uh, maybe at every time interval, this particular table will be updated. So, this is one example. Uh, of an autonomous system using uh, RAP. Um, issue of this particular figure shows <coughs> an operation of RAP in an uh, autonomous system. Okay, uh, so if I consider basically this is at the initial state. Okay, say so here we have uh, different networks, all these are N1, N2, N3, or N4, N5, and N6, and nothing more than networks which is connected to our particular routers. That is R1, R2, R3, as well as R4. Okay. So here, in this particular section, if you also, initially the R1 table, R2 table, R3, as well as R4 table. All the contents of this particular table are empty. Right? Here, because at the initial stage, it will there will be no information. That is, the forwarding table will be totally empty. So the destinations one the destination can be n1 n2 right n3 uh, similarly for r2 it is n3 n4 just uh, some random numbers we have taken uh, similarly for r3 it is uh, n4 and n6 the neighboring network similarly r4 it is <coughs> n5 as well as n6 Right in this way, in this may be the destinations that is nothing but the nearest uh, the neighbors for that routers, routers have been considered at the initial stage. Right for R1, it is N1, N2, and N3. Similarly, R2, it is N5, N4, and N3. Similarly, R3, it is N4 as well as N6. Similarly, R4, it is N5 and N6. Here, the hop count, the cost, or what we call it as hop count or cost, is nothing but one. Right. Suppose you want to route a packet from N1 to N3. So basically, uh, through R1 itself, that is source as well as destination router will be same. Through R1 itself, it will be routed. So the count 
for this it under it goes to only in the network the count is one this is at the initial stage that is uh, the tables <coughs> forwarding table of all the routers when it has been booted next is the updation phase so here you can observe then we show the changes in sub table when some update messages have been exchanged okay when there is so message or if either uh, uh, miss reply uh, sorry request is sent based on that you get a reply or uh, based on uh, uh, what we call uh, uh, updation that is say at every 30 seconds or when the table need to be updated these tables will be initially set up so here old r1 okay the old table the previous uh, slide we have seen the old table right of now i will deal with only router r1 later you can go through r3 as well uh, you can, if you observe here the old basic first you write the old table where we have written the nearest uh, uh, networks that is n1 n2 and n3 right uh, next router it is not required the uh, pop comps are each one okay next in order to update next you have to write r2 seen by r1 okay the router how r2 uh, that is updated message r2 seen by r1 how it sees at r1 that is say for example if i consider destination as say n3 okay and the uh, next router i say r2 okay suppose say from any of this particular router or uh, any of this particular uh, network you are supposed to transfer this okay uh, that is this packet has to transfer from r1 to r2 in that case the number of networks it passes through is say one two or else in this here also say one two right so consider destination r3 the next one here is router nr is nothing but the next router is r2 and cost is two. <coughs> similarly n4 okay for n4 R2 seen by R1 for N4. In this case, also it has to pass through two networks at this section, either here N2, N3, and then R2. Right? So pop count is two. Therefore, N4, the next router point for it is R2. And the next nearest is N5 for R2. Therefore, N5, the nearest route or next router is R2. And the pop count in order to reach a packet from this point to this point is also. It has to pass through two routers, so therefore hop count is two. So thus, this will be this table will be updated here, right? N1, N2, N3 is nothing but the old table. Along with that, now how R2 seen seen by R1 based on that two table will be addressed. That is for N4. Just now uh, you can directly you can look at this and you can write down in order for N4 in order to say route a packet from either N1, N2 or whatever. That is in general I will say. From router R1 to N4, it has to the next router will be R2, correct? So N4, the next router is R2. Number of hop counts, it has to pass through two networks, so therefore hop counts is two. Right for N5. <coughs> next you have if you observe for N5, okay. From N5, uh, the next router from R1 is nothing but R2, so R2 number of hop count is also two right similarly you have to this is how the table is updated okay so the black one black line which is indicated is nothing but the old uh, uh, table and the red one is nothing but the updated okay similarly you have to write the table for r3 if i look i look into r3 now okay r3 the old table for r3 the nearest one was n4 as well as n6 n4 and n6 will be as it is suppose say from r3 uh, to r uh, n3 if n3 is a destination so the next router will be r2 op count is 2 right op count will be 2 here similarly for n6 sorry uh, n5 suppose you want to transfer a packet to n5 in that case the nearest uh, next router say r2 okay hop count is two it can be r4, through r4 also that is also okay but in this case we'll consider this one here the hop count is two similarly you have to write the table for r4 so 
Now we have an updated table R1, R3 as well as R4. And by R2 also can be written. Finally, uh, we this is the stabilized forwarding table when there is no more change, right? If we just look into the stabilized uh, uh, forwarding table, um, that is uh, after updating all the tables, we can observe here. For uh, final R1 for this router, right? Uh, Destinations can be N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, and N6. All the networks for N1, uh, the same router is used, so a dash line. The cost is one itself. For N2, also same router. Here also cost one. For N3, also same router. The cost is one. Right now, <coughs> suppose if you want to route the packet from N1 to N4, or say from route one uh, to N4. In that case, the next route to and half counts to a network it has to pass that is therefore the half count is two. Now if the destination is N5 <coughs> for N5 also the next router is R2 R2 and half counts it has to undergo two networks so therefore half count is two. Now suppose if the destination is N6 okay the nearest router for N6 it is R3 there should be some change right say R3 so the Networks number of networks is yes, one, two, and three. Sorry, the next router is R2 itself. Sorry, next router is uh, suppose if you want to route a packet to N6, it has to from R1 to N6, it has to pass through R2 and then N6, right? So here NR means next router, it is R2 itself. So uh, from R2, it has to go through uh, one more network. So therefore, the, therefore the number of half counts one, two, and three. Half count is three. Okay, so this is the final table for R. Similarly, for R2, if I consider R2 here, okay, in R2, uh, suppose say you want to route it uh, to L1. Okay, in that case, the next router is R1 from R2, I'm speaking, so R1 and the number of cost is 2. Suppose if you want to route it to N2, okay, same thing, R1, number of N3. N3 same router so dash followed by hop count one. N4 also same router so dash followed by hop count one. Suppose if it is R3, okay, if you want to route it to R3, then in that case, sorry, N6, N6, in that case, the next router will be R3. Okay, it passes through to network, so therefore hop count is 2. Okay, next is the final R3, that is the table for R3 router. Here again, destination N1. Suppose if you want to route the packet from R3 to network N1. Okay, for that, the next router will be R2, therefore R2. Okay, so from here, it has to go through three networks 1, 2, and 3. <coughs> so, hop count is 3. Similarly, for N2, same procedure. So, R2 and hop count is 3. So, in order to route it to N3, the next router is R2, right? Hop count is 2. Okay, in order to route it for EN4, there is the same router, so dash followed by hop count. In order to route it for N5, okay, the next router will be R2, right? So this, uh, the hop count is 2. For N6, same router, so uh, no other thing is required. Next router, the hop count is 1. Similarly, in the same way, you have to write the uh, final R4 table. This is how Using RIP, you'll be writing the uh, tables, updated tables. So, as and when uh, there is an updation, every time what happens here is uh, this is how you find the table. But when uh, there is any network error or if any uh, routing, different routing paths are there, in that case, the updation is required. So, updation will be done. So, during the updation process, what happens always uh, the updated uh, updation or uh, during the updation, the cost will be checked in this particular algorithm. Okay, uh, the cost of the present table as well as the cost of the, any updation, the new value, if there are new values. If the cost is high, it will be discarded because already in the table you have a path which is of the low cost. So obviously it will be discarded. Okay, that is one thing. 
now suppose if the cost is low okay in the table something is there, some value is some cost to hop count is there and during the updation we found that there is one more part uh, uh, with low cost immediately the table will not be updated it will wait for one more round again if it is found that if the cost is low then the table will be updated with the low cost but in general we need to uh, it will make sure that the table uh, content it is nothing but it table provides us the path how it has to be routed to which path it has to be routed based on the cost cost is nothing but based on the number of hops so that algorithm we need to make sure that the number of hops or the cost should be minimum there is nothing but in general we can say that uh, the routing should be um, should take place through the shortest path right that is the need of this rip rip